how's it going everybody? Burt Brian here. I'm going to skip all my normal intro stuff because I want to get right to talking about this company. Uh, usually when I ask companies to, uh, to do reviews for them, I try to get as much information as I can about the company, how it started, because to me it's not, you know, it's, I really want to know about the people behind the sauce, how it got created, why, you know, what led them to get into this industry. So I really appreciate, you know, as much feedback as I can get um, from the, the sauce creators. And so uh, Brian and Melissa Perry sent me out uh, one of their sauces to review. They're going to send me out, um, you know, one at a time. They have several different ones. Uh, this is one of their more popular ones sold at the markets. Uh, we'll talk about it in just a second, but uh, I've got some information he sent me. I just want to read to you guys and share a little bit uh, about his life and about the product uh, so you can get a better understanding, a better, a better appreciation for uh, where this sauce comes from, how it's made, and the people behind the scenes. So um, let me just say, he says, hi Brian, here's the first sample from Uncle B's, Chili's, and etc. Uncle B's is a spinoff of our market gardening business, Weeds and etc. About four years ago, I left my high paying chef job in Gulf, Ontario, I might be saying that wrong, uh, to live with my wonderful fiance on Manitoulin Island in Northern Ontario, Canada. The area reminds me of small farming areas in the US. We started gardening to help supplement the low wages from our full time jobs. I have gardened for about 15 years so have always, and have always grown hot chilies to make different hot sauces for friends and family. I thought it would be a great thing to sell at the markets. My day job here um, is as far away from my job as the head of the kitchen in a fine dining restaurant as you can get. Um, he says that uh, he's, he is, uh, the job he has bores him to tears and um, you know, it, it kind of, if anyone who's been a chef, if you have to go down and work in a lower restaurant, we all have our egos. Uh, you know, you're used to cooking such fine dining cuisine, and now you're stuck doing burgers and other stuff, so I definitely feel the pain there. Um, Uncle B's is an attempt to get me out of my own personal hell and a therapy, I guess. I love to cook and create with food, so I experiment with the hot sauces and various other things to put new and exciting products on the market tables. Um, so he decided to get into doing all of this. Uh, so far, they've just been using uh, Craigslist and Craigslist type stores. He's in development of a website, so um, yeah, I'll definitely have a link down in the description so you can go and check it out. It needs a lot of work, but they're tweaking it and it's coming along pretty good. Um, <clears throat> but um, it says here the hot sauce that he sent me is the is called Cornucopia of Fire. Let's take a look at the bottle. Again, very simple labeling. These are uh, they're they're. Uh, New startup, pretty much. Um, he's been making these for a little while for friends and family, but very cool. Um, it says it is very popular at the market, and he uses it often at home. Cornucopia of Fire is a mix of all the peppers I grow during the season. It changes a bit every year depending on what the harvest brings in. Uh, so this year's batch, he uh, he accidentally added in some sun-dried tomatoes. But uh, it turns out that it was a happy accident. He was using uh, some some uh, dried peppers that he had, and I guess in his haste threw in the tomatoes, but he said it turned out to be great. Uh, this is one of the aged sauces that he does. Uh, the peppers age for around six months in salt, and then after being cooked and bottled, the sauces go on the shelf over winter and are introduced to the market in the spring. Um, almost every ingredient in his sauce is produced there on their own farm, which I think is awesome. It's amazing. Uh, various chili peppers that are in this particular sauce here. Uh, you've got Fatali, Thai chilies, Daddle, Yellow, and Ghost Red, uh, Seven Pot, Butch Teas, Habanero, Scotch Bonnet, Bird's Eye, Super Chilies, Jalapenos, Devil's Tongue, Goat Horn, White Habanero, Jamaican Yellows, uh, hot fish, explosive embers, Dorset Nagas, Peter Peppers, Golden Cayennes, and etc. So as you can see, there are a ton of peppers that go into this sauce, and that's awesome. Um, let's see, uh, all of those are grown on his farm, of course. There are sun-dried, sugary, sweetie, uh, sweet million, sun sugar, and Araya tomatoes, all grown on his farm. Uh, cider vinegar that's made from wild apples on his farm. So again, everything uh, on the farm. There's raw honey from their friend's uh, farm, which is uh, Ted Smith at Gypsy Family Farms. And uh, salt from the store and a very tiny amount of xanthan gum. Um, but very cool. Been really looking forward to uh, trying this one a lot. Those ingredients all sound absolutely amazing to me. I love that they're all grown fresh right there. And uh, since I've given lots of information on the company itself let's go ahead and get to the sauce and give it a nice shake and what do we have on aroma wow it is a, a 
a strong blend of, um, I'm picking up on that apple cider. I love the smell of apple cider vinegar versus regular white distilled. It's got a, just a nice sweet uh, note to it. And there is just this culmination of peppers that I'm getting a lot of, um, you know, multiple different kinds of peppers. I can't really pinpoint anything specific because obviously there's so many in it. And let's take a look. It has the consistency of like your typical, almost like a Louisiana style sauce. It, um, I don't see too many chunks. There are definitely a couple little pieces, but it's well pureed. Hmm. Smells a, a nice sweet smell. Let's give this a taste here. Wow. That's very, very smooth. Um, it's, it's, it's just kind of a, a nice light mouth burn. It's not overly crazy. Um, but it's got a sweet flavor. Again, that apple cider vinegar really gives a nice sweetness uh, to the sauce. And you just get this culmination. All of these peppers combined... It has just a, a very nice pepper flavor that has all the uh, the sugar notes. It's very sweet. Wow, I can see why this is one of your more popular ones. Very, very good sauce. It's almost like a, um, you know, it's, it's similar in fashion to a, a Louisiana style sauce, but none of that, you know, just distilled vinegar flavor. Again, it has so much more to it than that. This is something that would really be good to just sit on your kitchen table, honestly. This has a, a lot of applications I think it they would be great in. Um, for heat, I would probably give this for us chili heads maybe a 4 out of, well, we'll give that, yeah, we'll give it a 4 out of 10. It, it is, um, you know, it's a good midway point, nice medium level heat. On flavor, I mean, wow, since I, I mean, I say this could go on a kitchen table, I'm going to give this an 8 uh, on flavor just because it's, uh, it's so sweet and you know it's a I just love all the freshness in it I'm a big fan of all fresh all natural and especially someone that utilizes all their own ingredients out of their farm that's pretty awesome this is really good something I will definitely keep on my table for most of my meals so thank you so much Brian for sending this out to me I uh, look forward to trying some of your future sauces. Again, there'll be a link down in the description where you can find this sauce. And uh, don't forget, you can always join me on Facebook. A lot of, a lot of conversations go on there. It's where I uh, try to interact with everybody more. But definitely leave me a comment here on the uh, YouTube video. And I'll be sure to get back to you uh, pretty quickly. And um, so yeah, uh, Christmas is right around the corner. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to all of you out there. And uh, as always, stay toasty, my friends.